Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys or unbox a few little goodies. I have no idea what's inside here, so I'm super excited to open this up. I believe it's by Model Ones. They went ahead and sent me a PR package over and I'm super excited to review it for you guys. I'm not going to turn around just because I have my address and I can't seem to find a market to cover my address. Um, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to go ahead and just do it this way instead. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just try to find an opening here. They tape it up really good, which is good, I think. Um, I think I found it. Okay, so here it is. Let me see if I can get it to open. I can already smell the slip solution. Okay, so here it is. Let me go ahead and remove the bubble wrap now. They did a great job packaging this to make sure that I received it well. Okay, so we have a few stuff here. So first, here we have, I think it's their apology kit. Super pretty. I love that it's black. I love how black look. I feel like bla black is a very luxurious color. Especially look, look at it. I think they used to be orange. I like a really bright orange. But I guess it changed their packaging to black and it just makes it look super neat. So I'll go ahead and open it up now. Okay, so it's sealed here as well. I've actually tried the poly gel before. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen my reviews about them. Model ones actually, no, that was my second kit that I ever got when I first started. Okay, so here we have an instruction manual. It gives you tips on how to prepare your nails, how to apply, how to remove some customer service, and just a few little stuff here and there. So that is really neat. So it does include the poly gel brush that has the spatula on one end and the brush on the other. Super cute, of course. We have a few little items here, some rhinestones and some beautiful glitters. Here we have some dual forms. You can tell right away that these are not too curved. I don't use dual forms. I probably will, but not these kind. I plan to actually do a video soon on how to use dual forms. These are more curved. You can, you can probably tell by the packaging. I plan to do um, a video of using dual forms soon with um, sledder dual forms, so not with um, those type of dual forms. Those are my favorite. It includes their file super cute beautiful flowers here here we have their slip solution Ooh, these are really pretty i remember back then they used to be plastic bottles or they weren't as pretty but these look really pretty and cute and for the top and base coat and then here we have their soft pink and their clear poly just the 30 grams each so this is how they look Super pretty. And lastly, we have their little UV lamp. Let me go ahead and try to find where I can open it. I believe it's from up here. Oh, here it is. Super cute. Here's a cord. And here's a little tiny lamp. I can't seem to open it. Okay, here's how it looks. Super small. I actually have one of these already, which I'm super excited to try how this one works out because the other one worked really well. And yeah, this is how it looks. Oops. Super cute. And it has a button on the side, and here's where you plug it in. Okay, we have another little package here that they actually sent over. And this one right here. I believe it's another Pollo. It seems to be another one. Just by the way, I can feel the tube. Let me go ahead and just cut it up like this. And I was correct, it is another one. So much bubble wrap.
Okay, and we have a glitter poly gel here. You guys can see it. It's called Girls Dress. Oh, this is super cute. Super excited to swatch them in a bit for you guys. But yeah, they included a next, an extra little poly gel glitter pink. It's super pretty. I'm pretty sure I've actually seen. We'll look at it. How pretty that is. Here you guys can see that I went ahead and already pre-shaped my tips. I'm basically ready just for my application. I'm gonna be going ahead and going into 002 soft pink color. I'm gonna pour in my slip solution or my alcohol. Then I'm going to go ahead and place them onto my spatula, place it onto the nail tip, and I'm going to gently but slowly try pushing it towards the cuticle area. Once I have it pushed on that cuticle area, I'm going to go ahead and start by the left side and pushing it towards my side walls, making sure I fully coat that. Once I have my side walls basically done, I'm going to go ahead and gently push that towards the free edge, just basically fill the whole entire nail. So once I have it to my liking, which is like this, I'm going to go ahead and then cure. Here I'm going to place them onto the nail here and I'm going to start by gently pushing this towards the cuticle area and towards the side walls. Making sure I have no gaps. Here you guys can see I'm just gently making sure that I have no gaps. I do have a gap here so I'm going to just push that towards there. Once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and gently drag the excess towards the free edge. And then using this poly gel, I'm actually going to go ahead and just build my smile line here to my liking. Once I have my smell line to my liking, I'm going to go ahead and then cure. Now here I went ahead and placed this onto the end of the nail tip which is the free edge and here I'm going ahead and just making sure that I create my little, I'm going to be doing like a side coat or a middle cut, I don't even know how you call this design honestly, but I've done this design before so I'm really excited to see how this one will turn out. So I'm just making sure that I remove any excess once I've
here I'm gonna actually be using again the glitter that I used previously and I'm just gonna go ahead and place that right on there I went ahead and then cured and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and be encapsulating this design now. I'm just patting this into place and also making sure that I build my apex properly. So here you can see I'm just pushing it towards the side walls, towards the free edge and just making sure that I fully encapsulate the design. As you can see, the polish overall is actually really easy to use. I feel like they changed their formula definitely because before I wasn't able, I was able to work with it but it would kind of go everywhere. And I would have to be kind of catching it, but overall, I honestly think that they changed their formula. And I think the polish is very easy to use. Definitely a softer consistency than most I've tried, but it's obviously workable. As you guys can see, I had not much of a problem with it. I went ahead and removed the excess, and the excess of the polish, I went ahead and added it to the middle finger to also encapsulate the, encapsulate the glitter that I had on there. I went ahead and went in with some of that pink and some of that clear then using my dotting tool I'm going to go ahead and just marble these colors around. Once I have them marbled to my liking I'm going to go ahead and pat everything into place. Okay, now that I have it to my liking, I'm going to go in with my fan brush and my glitter and I'm just be using the fan brush to go ahead and place the glitter on top of the poly gel. I have not cured the poly gel yet, just so you guys know. But once I have that glitter to my liking or my placement is correct, then I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. Now to fill that gap in, I went ahead and went with some clear to go ahead and just encapsulate design. So yeah, that's basically all I'm doing. I'm encapsulating and also trying to make sure that I have my apex correctly. Once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and cure. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and do the same design that I did on my index, which is just a marble design with some poly gel and clear and the soft pink one. And here, I don't know if you guys saw previously, but my th my pinky actually popped off immediately. And then I couldn't glue the tip back on because I am using the pop off method. Like I said, I'm trying to bring out more videos for you guys. And so my pinky looked a little rough. So I did have to like wait for me to finish the rest of the nails and then go back to this one because I did have to use acetone. Um, but basically, yeah, here I'm just going ahead and marble it, then using again my fan brush to go ahead and place the glitter on top of the poly gel. Once I have the place there, like I said again, I'm going to go ahead and cure. Actually, I'm not gonna go ahead and cure, I'm sorry. I'm adding the butterflies, then I'm gonna go ahead and then cure. Okay, now that that's secured, I'm going to go in with some clear poly gel again and I'm building the apex but at the same time I'm also encapsulating the whole entire nail. Okay, so once I'm done encapsulating, this is how the design looks so far. 
Let's take a quick moment to see how these look. Here I'm gonna go ahead and also show you my apex placement. Here's the index, the middle finger, the ring finger, and my pinky. And going in with some isopropyl alcohol, I'm gonna go ahead and just basically use this to remove that tacky layer so it doesn't gunk up our bits and our file. Then I went ahead and went in with my soft bit. Actually, no, I'm not going in with my soft bit yet. I'm actually just using my file to go ahead and perfect my shaping and just make sure that my shape is very crisp and tapered in. Once I have that, then I'm gonna go ahead and actually be using my e-file. So using the safety bit, I'm gonna go ahead and basically be sealing the cuticle area and also removing any bulk or any unevenness. I always recommend you guys see the cuticle area or flush the cuticle because this prevents lifting and makes it looks so much prettier. Um, so I definitely recommend that. So I'm just going ahead and then doing that. Once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that dust and wipe away with some alcohol. I went ahead and filed the rest of the nails. So this is how they look so far. So far, I feel like my shaping still needs a lot of work. I feel like I'm never gonna be able to perfect my shaping. But anywho, I went in with this UV gel, which is basically glue. And I'm placing that where I want to place my gold flakes or my foil. And this is the foil that I have. I'm using some tweezers and I'm just placing that onto the UV gel. And that's basically all I'm doing. Once I have my placement done, I'm going to go ahead and then cure this for 10 to 20 seconds. And so this is how it looks. Next, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and cure it. I'm just flash curing it for like at least 10 seconds. And then later on that, I'm going to go ahead and then continue and go on with a full cure of 30 seconds. I went ahead and used Model 1's top coat and I'm just top coating the nail. I am very attached to the top coat that I always would use, which is my Cupid top coat. So I went ahead and actually just did like a little test review. Or a little test run of both top coats here i'm using my cupid top coat and here you guys can see the difference between both i still prefer my cupid top coat there's no other way i would choose a different one i do plan to one day make a video of all the top coats that i have because i have so much but i don't use them all um but anyway i just went ahead and top coat each nail place some cuticle oil and we are done let me know what you guys think about this set i overall really had so much fun creating it at the beginning i was a little iffy about how this set would turn out but overall at the end of the day i was actually really proud of it i'm super happy with it thank you guys so much for watching today's video i'll see you guys in my next one goodbye Enjoy.